Hello, the snooker player Ronnie O'Sullivan uh, has his birthday today. Not perhaps a happy one since he's just been knocked out of the UK uh, snooker championship, uh, defending a title which he has won eight times. Uh, but he was knocked out uh, uh, earlier in the year also in the World Snooker Championship and in, in that game uh, something rather extraordinary happened. Uh, he was winning 6-5. Um, and the, he just potted a black ball, and uh, as you as you'll know, probably uh, if that happens, it has to be replaced on a particular spot on the table. Uh, the ball was replaced, and uh, uh, this meant that he could not reach the ball that he was supposed to hit next, a, a particular red. Uh, but the black ball wobbled off the spot because of a a divot, uh, just enough for him to be able to reach the red ball but he uh, insisted that the black ball be put back uh, so that that was fair although much more difficult for him and he kept on insisting even though the ball kept on um, moving uh, to his advantage uh, and in the end uh, uh, he gave up and the, the, the position was left so that he could have hit the red ball easily but he decided not to and played a different shot which lost him points and lost him eventually the game and the match. And this kind of determination to be fair, this desire to make sure that uh, he behaved in a way that was honest and true to his uh, sportsmanlike instincts, uh, I think is something to be admired. He's, he's had his troubles in the past, he was um, had troubles with, with, with drugs and, and, and drinking uh, certainly earlier in his life and, and even in the game uh, 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 this week he, he lost his temper and banged the, the table. But this particular example of sportsmanship I think reflects uh, more the kind of person that he is and, and I think it's admirable and I, and I think uh, it, we'd be glad if more of our public figures showed that kind of integrity that desire to be true to what's right true to themselves but it also behoves us I think as, as ordinary people to, to, to try and be as honest and fair as we, as we can and it's very tempting sometimes uh, not to be. I remember a, a, an occasion when I scratched a, a, a car, a parked car in the Sainsbury's, in the Sainsbury's car park and didn't leave my details and I've regretted it ever since because it, it makes you feel if you, if you give in to the temptation to, to look after your own interests first which is a natural instinct uh, it, 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 it actually doesn't in the end leave you feeling good. You, you, in the end it's better for our own sakes uh, to be honest and, 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 and to be fair to others. But I think it's also good I in terms of uh, the example we set and the contribution we make to, to, to our families and to our society. If, if we are true to who we are, believe that being honest and fair is the right thing to do and, and act upon it, even when sometimes it's in our best interest not to but in our long-term interests, we feel better if we do.